Hello and welcome to my training. My name is Chuck Holmes. Today's video is a tribute to Paul Orbison. Paul Orbison is a famous network marketer. He's someone who inspired me. He's someone who I studied through his books, through some of his trainings. And although I never got to meet him in real life, I never got to work with him personally. He was involved in the industry long before I got involved. Uh, but his, his story, his training, his teaching had a great positive impact on my life. And I just want to share a couple of things about him. And then I want to go through a couple of his popular quotes from his book that helped me a lot. So he grew up in Kentucky. He was a baseball player. He got a scholarship to Western Kentucky. He later went on to become a high school teacher. And he learned about Excel communications sometime around 1989, 1990. Excel was an up and coming company. It went from zero to huge very quickly. He got to ride that momentum. But his story is quite inspiring because after three years with the company, his income had gotten up to about $2,500 per month. He had said in a couple of his trainings that he was at a crossroads, whether he should keep doing it, whether he should leave and do something else. And what's really neat is about three or four years later, he took that $2,500 a month income all the way up to over a million dollars a month. Now, of course, individual results will vary. I'm not making an income claim here, just sharing his story. And he shared his stats. He said he had sponsored 38 people and he found 24 customers. From that, he grew his business up to over a million dollars a month, which is crazy when you think about it. So I want to share a few of his quotes. These quotes are from his book, Something Something's Good, Something Good is Going to Happen. There we go. It's a little tongue twister. And each quote is in italics on this slide. And then I share my own two cents to it. The first quote is, I'm going to get one I'm going to get good at one thing and do it good. And that's something that I struggle with sometimes. I, I'm kind of scatterbrained at times. I like to do two, three, four different things at a time. But focus is key. If you want to be mega successful at something, you have to have laser-like focus. So I'm trying to get better at this. I'm 47. I'm a work in progress like everyone. But if you're trying to build three, four, five, ten different businesses at a time, do you honestly believe you're going to be successful in all of them? What if you took that same time, money, and energy and focused on one business? Here's another quote. You personally recruit until you don't have to recruit anymore. You can see his numbers. He only had to recruit 38 people and find 24 customers. Some people build a big team and they recruit even less than that, but it's not the norm. Most top earners have personally sponsored between about 100 and 500 people over a period of five to 10 years in one company. Another quote he said is, there can't be a testimony in life without a test. In other words, if you want something big, you're going to have to pay the price. You're going to have to go through a struggle. Nothing is fast, free, or easy if it's worth accomplishing. The, the next quote, until we show that we can commit to something and stick with it, those who are closest to us are just going to roll their eyes and say, okay, here's just one more thing. You have a lot of people in our industry. They, they jump companies. They're in a new company every two, three, four months. And that's why a lot of their loved ones and their close friends don't take them seriously because they can't commit to anything uh, long term. How do I know this? I used to be one of these people. It sucks. It's not fair to your family. Pick something. Stick with it. Pick the company you want to have your problems with. Realize nothing is going to be perfect. Nothing's going to go exactly as planned and ride it out. The next quote, the middle mile links the beginning to the end. We all know we have to endure it. It's the most dangerous time in any undertaking when quitting looks awfully good. So when you start a business, you start on excitement. I like to call it lust. That lasts anywhere from a week to 90 days for most people. Now, the middle mile really starts at that point when your initial excitement goes away. And the middle mile can last anywhere from two, three, four years. It's where you're pushing your car up the hill. You don't have a lot of duplication in your team. There's no momentum. There's not lots of people coming in. There's not a lot of people doing work. It might be you and a couple of other people. You question your sanity. And this middle mile, most people don't make it through because they quit. They get frustrated. And they, even though they might realize that the success is over the horizon, they're just not willing to go through the pain long enough to get where they need to get. Here's a couple more quotes. It's easier to give birth in our business than it is to raise the dead. He often said, you can't hit the next rank with the same team. I tell my team members this as well. If your current team was going to get you to the next rank, you'd already be there. So make sure you keep recruiting. Make sure you keep finding new people. 
Make sure you keep tap rooting and building depth. New lifeblood is vital to your business success. Next, not everyone is willing to pay the price to win, and even some who are willing to pay the price for a while won't pay it long enough. Most people who are ultra successful in this industry, really in anything in life, they were 100% committed for three, four, five, even 10 years to that one enterprise. Now, anybody can start out committed, but to stay committed and consistent year after year after year is hard for most people to do. The last quote, when we introduce our business, we are not only talking to that person, we are talking to everybody that person knows. This is the process of working through the people that you sponsor. So if I sign up Joe, now all Joe's contacts I can get in touch with, all their contacts I can get in touch with, all their contacts I can get in touch with. So you don't have to sponsor a bunch of studs. You can sponsor some duds. They can lead you to a stud. If you have someone who's not serious or not committed, they probably know someone who would join who would be. So work through everybody by tap rooting, by building depth in your organization and let the cream rise to the crop. This is his book. It's called Something Good's Gonna Happen. I believe it was published 15 years ago, give or take, somewhere around there. It's available on Amazon and eBay. It is an out-of-print book, but you can buy used copies on eBay or Amazon. Once again, uh, Paul passed away about 10 years ago. I believe it was of kidney disease. Uh, he was a great guy. I have a lot of respect for him through his trainings and what he achieved in the industry. And I just wanted to uh, pay his legacy forward and, and keep it going. So I hope you got some value from today's video. If you haven't checked out the book yet, you should. You can check out the links and the resources in the description box below this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.